Hey Sedge, what are we doing today? <laughs> good, good question. Um, I'm gonna show you a new, um, or actually a couple techniques okay. using the domino. Um, and it's just using a couple of different pieces that you get with a domino set. This is what we call a trim stop, and this is what we call a support bracket. And it's a, remember we just did a video about putting a board in the middle of something? Yep. Okay, like a shelf, a fixed shelf. Well, I, here's a question that's very common. I want to take a domino, okay, and put it right here in the middle, okay, mm -hmm. and also in the middle of this board. Okay, so okay. <clears throat> it's all about layout. Um, of course, I did a cross here, an X, Y axis, right? Mm -hmm. And here, this is, I think it was a 42 millimeter. I did a center line right at 21 millimeter. Okay. So let me show you how to set this up. We're gonna put this on, this is the trim stop. So it's pretty simple. I know you checked the bit. We're gonna use a five by 30 bit. Yep. So what I'm gonna do, and I'll define it every single time. This is the plate and this is the base. This trim stop goes right on this act like this. And you put these in and I'll have you tighten these two down. It's as if it was made for this. Yep. Perfect, so once you flip it over, Okay, and you're gonna notice there's all kinds on the domino, there's all kinds of center lines. Like this mm -hmm. is a center line right here. Yep. You also have your cursor right here. Mm -hmm. The top of the triangle is also your center line. And these are adjustable independently. Oh no. Nice. Okay, so what I always like to do is just take that scribe center line, and I'll just turn this for the camera right here, see this? And bring it right in to that center line. Okay, let's see if I can get that. Just like that, and go ahead, and we're gonna put these in and tighten them right up. Right. Go ahead. Okay, and the other thing I do, just to, to verify that, is I actually look down the throat here, okay, and I see the, the lines right here, mm -hmm. and I can always just bump it off just a hair to get exactly in the center, if that is a crucial thing I have to do. So let's just feel that, that's about right. There's no movement. I'm just gonna tighten this one up oh, just a hair and this one to bring it right where I need it. So there you go, we're ready awesome. to go. Awesome. Couple of things. We set up the center line, we set up the, uh, the trim stop. Now what we're gonna do is, is say, and I'll just say, for instance, we had 50 of these. Always mark the face where you wanna reference the plate. Right. Okay, this is 25 millimeters thick. I set my plate height for the thickness right here. Yep. Okay, that way there I'm close to the center or in the center where I want to be. And the reason I say always mark your spindles is because if you don't mark the face, you'll have a tendency, say I got to do a mortise here and a mortise here, you'll go like this. Oh. And if it's not exactly in the center, then you have a situation. So we call it helicoptering. So I'm going to do one now. Just like this. I'm working off the table. The base is not touching the table whatsoever. And I'll just set you up for the next one. You'll see how that's exactly where I want it. So I'll have you do one. Perfect. Oh look, it's exactly where I wanted it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, and that's just one of the, the accessories for the machine. I wanted to show you that because you're gonna be in this situation, okay? Right. Uh, when you're building. You know with the domino, there's all kinds of reference spots. Yep. But this is a difficult one. Oh. Okay, because I want to put, just say for instance, I want to put this right here in the exact, let me put the domino in there. Okay. Okay, I want to put it right in there. Say it's a, a spindle for like a, um, a staircase, okay? okay? And it could be offset in the middle of a um, tread like this, okay? What you want to do is you want to work with center lines, right? Yep. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the base, just like this. And you're going to see the two holes here. They're threaded. We're going to put this on. Now when you put this support bracket, because we're going to be plunging vertically, when you put this on, you always want it to on a flat surface. Right. That way there, you don't want to put it on like this because it could offset. Okay. Okay? And your domino will go in 
at a slight angle. So you, you want, want this to line up with your plate? Yeah, uh, no, the, the base, base. The base. Okay. The front of the base. Front of the okay. base. Okay, so just. Now, I want the biggest footprint with the domino. So what I'm gonna do, in other words, I want it really stable. I'm going to release this and pull it all the way up. Okay, it's because we're gonna plunge vertically now and I'm gonna lock it in. Now, you know, okay, from using this machine, that that's the center line, right? Yes, sir. But when I put that base on correctly, look right here, that's hey. the center line. See that? Mm. So I can bring that right over and we get that axis, right? But the one that people don't see is this one. And it's really easy, okay, right here on the base. You see how that's milled? Yeah. That's the exact center of your, what? Of the your bit. bit. Oh, wow. So now you can you can line it up on both axes. So I'll just take it like this. That's a new one. You betcha, <laughs> baby. Okay. So I'll just put it on here like this. I'll bring it right over like this. And let's grab that one. Let's grab that one. See how I'm lining it That's right up? That's insane. Yeah, and you'll see. And it's, you see, because I made that bigger footprint with it, okay, it, uh, it's very stable. Now when I turn it on, here's another tip. You'll want to go like this and as you turn it on, it plunges in. Ooh. Always take it like this and just pinch it on. Okay. I'll have you do the honor <laughs> is your domino right in the center baby yeah nice and stable super snug how's that huh? that'll do it hey hey how do we say this be positive stay sharp <laughs>